guys, how's it going? Saturday afternoon today, it's beautiful outside, 73, it's still. Benjamin is actually napping at the moment, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to come out here and plant a few things. We're in the area by our kitchen door back here, and this spot looks a little bit rough, um, just because it's fall and that's what happens. You know, a lot of the perennials have been cut back. Like in this section here, I've got a bunch of uh, Veronica, and I've got a bunch of bulbs that come up in the spring here. We've got some hostas that we've cut back already. So there's some gaps, little holes here and there. And this is the flower bed that we walk by the most. So I decided I've got a few fall things left over in the greenhouse. May as well bring them up here, pop them in this area, just for that little extra bit of festiveness, I guess. Coleus still looks pretty darn good. We had a night last week where I thought it was gonna freeze it got down to 34. Uh, it said it was going to get down to 32, and you can see that there's a little bit of cold damage, but I still can't even bear to pull this out yet because it's still standing tall and looking pretty. But, you know, we've got the Limetta hydrangeas are starting to lose their leaves and turn color and look a little bit weary, so I might pop some stuff in here too. I actually posted on Instagram this morning that today was gonna be just a chill day. We were just gonna only do what we wanted to do, which those kind of days don't come very often, it doesn't seem. But then one thing leads to another. I went out to the greenhouse to do some spot watering and make sure everything was happy in there. I started to organize and kind of clean up stuff, and then I decided that I kind of wanted to plant some things. <laughs> it's a perfect day for it. So here's what I ended up with. We're gonna use some ornamental cabbage. This is called Osaka White. They are glorious. Look how big those are. I've got some white night lobularia, some uh, white pansies, lemon coral sedum, and some key lime. I think that's what they're called, right? Yeah. Key lime mums. So kind of going for a very peaceful monochromatic look. I'm honestly not sure how this afternoon is going to go because I do have a chicken that I want to get in the oven to roast. I already made an apple tart today that didn't go very well. <laughs> it was one of those, um, is it tart? T-A-T-I-N like a French apple tart where you do like caramelized, you make caramel and put the apples in it and then it's like an upside down thing that you flip over. Anyway, the first time I made the caramel, it seized in the pan. The second time I made it, it wouldn't set completely. Um, and anyway, I think it'll still taste good, I don't know. And I think we're going to uh, do some pumpkin painting slash carving when Benjamin wakes up. So I think I'm gonna grab all these plants. We'll kind of set them out and see if I need to go grab anything else. I've got a few like random things in the greenhouse that I could add if I don't have quite enough for this space. Uh, and then I'm gonna see if Aaron wants to come out and dig all the holes for me. Really have been enjoying these containers right here. I didn't intend on leaving them all in a grouping together like this, but I kind of, once I got them down here, I thought, oh, I really like that, it's so fun. It almost feels kind of summerish today. Oh, I think it's going to look really pretty. I'm so thrilled just because this is a jumble of stuff I had left over. Uh, I knew that all the colors went together beautifully, but I didn't know how, if I was gonna be able to stretch everything out. So I was able to, I popped a couple of cabbage there, some alyssum and lemon coral, one little pansy. And then we've got some cabbage here with the moms and alyssum. You can tell I'm not worried at all about spacing just because this will be a somewhat short-lived display. I mean, the alyssum is tough as nails and it'll probably last to Thanksgiving, I'm guessing. The mums, they'll last until they bloom out, which they haven't been in bloom that long. So I'm guessing I'm gonna get several weeks out of those. The cabbage will probably last all winter if we're, we have another winter like we've had the last couple of years. And lemon corals is on seven. So some years it makes it outside here and some years it doesn't. It depends on where it's planted too. And then toward this side here, this is the shadiest part, but I just had one cabbage, a couple of alyssum, pansies mostly, uh, and you can tell I focused everything on the edges here just because I know there's a lot of perennials and bulbs that I don't want to disturb Even though it looks kind of empty back in there. That's okay. It's just nice to have a little pop-up here You can see it was windy this morning. It kind of blew in a bunch of leaves So I'll clean all of that up when I'm done planting. I just love it when things work out like this like totally unplanned to put anything in this area 
Although I really should make it a point just because it's in a high traffic area for us anyway. I should have pretty things all the time, but I didn't plan on it. So anyway, this is making me very excited. So I'm gonna go see if Aaron will come out and dig the holes for me. And here's my tart. You can see like it just didn't caramelize like it should have. It still looks tasty and like it's not soggy or anything. So that's good. And it smells really good, but I was expecting for it to look a little bit darker, more caramelized. Oh well, I'll try again another day. All right, Aaron is on his way out. I'm gonna run out to the barn and get the auger. I completely forgot to get that out. But I love planting in the fall because I don't have to worry about fertilizer or anything. I just get to put the stuff in the ground and be done with it. Here's a little update on the barn, you guys, while I'm on my way out. So excited to have this third hole. Now, all the holes look like they're different sizes. These are not, these are actually both nine feet. I shared a picture, I think, in my stories a few days ago with an update picture and it looked like this door was a lot smaller, but they're actually the same. This one will be as well. It's just not quite framed in yet. It's just a rough hole at the moment. And then this one, we still have to move over a little bit. So we'll have that one reframed in the center. That one will be framed in completely and they will all be nine feet wide. I should bring up some of these, although I do want to save some. Like I'm torn, Erin, because I want to use a bunch in decorating, but I don't want a bunch to be exposed to weather because I want to put it in a root cellar when it's done. Oh, To sure. actually store it, so I don't know. It is a dilemma. <laughs> all right, Erin's getting the auger all set up, so we'll get the holes dug, get these in the ground, and then we'll take another look. It's all done they're all planted and I think it looks really pretty it just spruced it up a little bit I actually feel like this flower bed is a really good example of one that needs some work in terms of four seasons of interest and I mentioned in our recent fall gardening checklist how good an idea it is how good of an idea it is to walk around and look at each flower bed every single season of the year so just four times a year run out take a picture of it make notes of what you notice is lacking so in this area like I said there are perennials back in this big gap right here there are a bunch of hostas, but for so much of our year, like, you know, mid fall, once they've started to yellow and die back, we, you know, kind of clean those up. And then the whole winter and then a good part of the spring, because it takes them forever to come up, there's nothing right there. So I feel like that's a really good uh, area that I need to work on in terms of like next spring when the hostas are starting to come up, because I can't actually even remember where they all are. I can move some of them around so that I could fit some other, like maybe winter interest, maybe some boxwoods or something like that in this area that um, will bring some weight and some structure instead of just leaving it so empty because I can't really get in there to plant anything without messing what's currently in there up. So anyway, I just feel like that's a good example of an area that needs some work. Okay, so now that that's done, I have to run into the kitchen. We need to get the chicken in the oven and I probably won't capture a whole lot of that process, but then I need to uh, go out to the garden and see what we have for green beans. We last week put up two dozen gallon sized freezer bags full of green beans from the new space which is awesome. Plus my mother-in-law, she's come several times to pick for their dinners. Um, we've had, um, I mean, it's just been a really prolific crop there, uh, the variety jade. And here are the paints. I got these out so Benjamin can paint a pumpkin. And then here are a few things I picked out of the garden yesterday. We've got a big bunch of bell peppers right there. And then right underneath, we've got some cucumbers. So this is the roast chicken recipe I'm gonna try out tonight. Garlic herb butter roast chicken. Doesn't that sound amazing? I don't think that there's a website. I just printed it off. I'll try to find a link and put it down below. Anyway, I get to use some of my own garlic that I grew. There it is. Plus some rosemary from out in the greenhouse. Some parsley from the new garden. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. I actually have to go grab the parsley because I need that before the chicken goes in the oven. I'm gonna grab the rosemary out of the greenhouse while we're out here. Hey, 
cheddar. Okay, I think those were the only two herbs that that recipe called for. If that tastes half as good as it smells, oh, I can't wait. So I've got my timer set for 50 minutes. I'm supposed to let it cook for an hour and 20 minutes and check it halfway through and baste. So I'll baste in 50 minutes. So that gives me a perfect amount of time to go back out to the garden and get some beans. Hopefully there's enough left out there for dinner tonight. And then I harvested corn yesterday, um, some of the sweetness corn, and that's still out in the barn. So I'm gonna go grab that. And Benjamin is still napping. Yeah, see yesterday I went back out and I got more sunflower heads and I got this corn right here. See how it looks. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Oh, yum. Fresh corn in October, love it. And I think I'll just use the same basket to get my beans. All right, bean plants look like they were a little bit affected by the cold night that we had, but I'm still seeing some beans out here, yeah. I should be able to glean enough. Can you help lift it? Ah, oh, I can't do it. Can you help me the rest of the way? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Give it a show. Yeah. Oh. All right, Benjamin, which pumpkin do you want to paint? Do you want to paint this one, this really cute little pumpkin right here? Or do you want to paint this big old pumpkin? Paint that one. Perfect. Do you want to get in your chair? Okay. I think all of these are washable. I <laughs> Ooh, great job. It is going to look so beautiful, bud. He's painting the stem and everything. Yeah, hey, may as well go for it. All, all in. It worked out perfect, bud. You woke up at just the right time. It's quite a stem you've got on yours. I love them. So I actually bought this pumpkin. I mean, we grew over 400 pumpkins. But I saw this pumpkin and I'm like, I have to have that. 
Is that like a special variety? I, I don't know. The lady at the stand said that there is a specific variety that produces these humongous stems. I gotta figure out what variety that is because they're really cool. Be hard to cut probably off the vine. You'd yeah, need well, like a like a chainsaw like out there. Yeah, it's true. I'm gonna paint this too. I'm just gonna do a fun face, I think. All right, how we doing? Doing pretty good. I like yours. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Waiting for the layers to dry, I need to put, paint some pupils in those eyeballs. Benjamin Hauser's, oh, such a good job. So proud of you. You're doing a great job. What color are you doing? Do a paint. Just a, it's a blend. paint? It's a beautiful blend. What color is it? Oh, okay. That's great. And dark blue. Mm-hmm. It's an abstract. Well, you're looking good, dude. It's like an abstract. Abstract, yeah. yeah. Abstract. Yeah. You're a great abstract artist, buddy. Well, we got our pumpkins done. Benjamin, you did a great job. Was that fun? Yeah. I love the colors you picked. Yeah. I think it might take a minute for yours to dry though. It's a little thick in some places. And then here's mine. What are you gonna do with that garlic powder there? <laughs> so I have the rest of dinner sitting out here. Here are the rinsed and um, whatever, you know when you take the tops off, uh, beans. So I'm gonna blanch those for like three to five minutes and then I will strain them and then I put them back in the pan and saute them with a little bit of butter, soy sauce, garlic powder, and crushed red chili flakes, which you probably shouldn't be playing with. These are hot, buddy. That would hurt your mouth. And then I've got the water ready for corn. So that'll go in for about five minutes. And then I've got the bread ready as well. This is just like a French country bread with butter and garlic powder, which I'll put in the broiler. And chicken, chicken will be ready in 0.4 degrees. 0.3 degrees. All right, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. And that right there, you guys, is dinner. Corn and beans out of the garden, the bread. Didn't the chicken turn out beautiful? It's really tasty too. And there's Benjamin's plate. All right guys, that's it for this video. Beautiful afternoon. I just enjoyed myself so much being able to plant some things, uh, being able just to kind of putter outside a bit, harvest some food out of the garden, still middle of October, and then have time to actually cook a dinner because it's not always like that. I don't always have time to monitor a chicken that's roasting in the oven. That's kind of a weekend thing for us. So it's just been a really beautiful day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.